Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, today we're going to work on something a little different. Uh, I'm still working on this and you can see I've added a doily here on the outside of the picture and a rose right there. And then I added a pocket on the back of this and that's just a piece of Medieval Mirage uh, scrap that I had. And then this is one of the cards that are in the kit the medieval monuments and I added the little um, nativity scene there and that's from my um, reason for the season digi and then you guys saw that and this I believe um, this envelope I added the band on there and then the journaling card on the inside I did so that's that one and it just tucks back into that kind of belly band there and it is a little bit stiff because of the it's the two layers of paper and I added another page and this one is you know just the regular um, page and then I added a pocket and a journaling card here I added the um, Mary and Jesus and Joseph there with a little of that pink fabric that I got from Nora and some lace and then this is just lace there. So that's as far as I've gotten. And um, I'll keep working on that. But I figured we'd do something else today. So if you've watched me for a while. And even if you haven't, you may have seen these. Actually, I need a bigger piece of paper to do that. Um, I take a page. And it needs to be kind of a decent size page. Only because uh, once you fold it up. Well, it depends on what size you want. But anyway, this page is 9 by uh, roughly five and three quarters and so I would take these and fold them in half and I've done these before I actually got this idea from Diane H and then you fold it in half again and it kind of makes like a little booklet and so I collage on all the surfaces here 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 and some of them I use for like writing like I'll put plain paper and some of them I might put like a designed paper or an image or something like that and those are really fun to tuck into a pocket so that's a great thing to do with um, book page so I've done lots of those before it's been a while though so I was like I should probably do some of those again you kind of forget after a while and then um, so I thought what I'd do today and a lot of people have done these so this isn't my idea either but take a book page and this one I did cut a little bit and it measures um, eight, just over eight and a quarter by five, almost five and a quarter. Um, just kind of tag size is what I was thinking because after I collage it, then I thought it would be fun to cut it into a tag. And then it's kind of like one of those try tag things, which I've seen loads of people doing. Um, I just saw Lorette, Tylerette do a cool little booklet and um, I don't think I'm doing it the same way she did I just you know kind of made me want to make one so I'm using scraps these are all Christmas scraps that I have so that's basically what I'm going to use I'm setting them to the side because you know it's just kind of a mess and and I don't want the whole thing here so I'm going to have to move my mouse over here I use I put it right there so that I can stop the video when I'm done easier because it's all hooked up to my computer. So these are those um, scraps from that paper that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago or a week and a half ago or something like that from that first um, little hinge book that I did. So I think I'm going to use a piece of this. So yeah, I just thought we could play around. And cover these and if we get time we'll cover the other one but sometimes it takes a bit to you know get them all covered and decorated and whatever so I hope you guys are having a good day I had no idea what I wanted to do and then I was like oh it'd be fun to make a like a tri tag to put into a pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and do that yeah Lorette is on Instagram and I'll try to remember to do a link to her thing. But I did like her little try tag thing. And I'm not sure exactly how she did it, but I just saw the image of it. I'm trying to think what I want to put on here with this. I 
That might be kind of cool. I didn't rip that straight. Big surprise, but I thought it would look good to have a little something else with it. I saw I shaking the whole camera. And I'll link these papers again, so if you do want to go over and check them out, because he has different colors too. It, these aren't the only colors. These were just the ones that I picked because I thought they worked good for Christmas. But there's other ones as well. These little booklet things are always good things to have to give you a little more journaling surface area. And they're just fun. Anyway, I have a lot of people ask like why I make certain things or why, you know, do we decorate journals so much or all those kind of things that it's like, because it's fun. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's just, it, it's fun to decorate them up and do all kinds of different things. It's for writing, so you try to leave some writing space and whatever, but a lot of it is just because it's a fun craft to do. So, I enjoy it. And I do love all the different stuff that everybody comes up with, because even if you give people the same uh, pieces or whatever, they always, everybody just creates so differently, and it's just really cool to see what other people do. And I know like a lot of times, like on um, Artie Mae's digital kits, if you buy hers, a lot of times she does tags right next to each other um, it, that you can cut out, but you can also turn them into like these little booklets. So that works as well. Okay, and I'll put something else there. Are you going to school? Love you. Love you. Drive safe. Alright, maybe we can put a piece of this. I don't really want the top of the girl's head in there though. That's from my letters to Santa. Could put a piece of the bark. That would work. And because this I feel like could be written on with like a black pen would work. Okay. Not short enough. And I like that um, Old World Santa one, or um, Woodland Santa one with these papers. Great background papers, which is nice to have. That's something that can be hard to provide in digitals because it's hard to find, you know, like make your own for one and that are that ornate. So, he does a really good job on those. maybe. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and healthy and all of that. We're all doing good around here at the moment. No info yet on my daughter's latest um, test. I mean, I think it's fine because she hasn't been having any symptoms or anything, so. All 
All right. And you could, if you wanted to, totally decorate, like, you know, the front ones and then on the back side um, do writing spots. So it's, it's just up to you how you want to handle that. I'm just going to do them all different. It's kind of fun because it's got the pine cones and whatnot on it. Tie at the bottom first. We'll just see how it comes out. If it's too crazy, I don't have to use it. It's just fun to try to use up some of the scraps that are never ending, right? It's not sticking down for some reason. Let's get it over. I'm just trying to decide how I want it. I think it's going to come over here. might just take a piece of straw paper <clears throat> and put it with that. I didn't feel like going to school today. It's the hard part with college, I think, because you, you know, you often go like later in the afternoon and stuff like that, just depending on your classes and um, gives you longer to like, think about how you don't want to go. <laughs> but she's pretty good. She just does it. Actually, a piece of this might work. And this is from um, Gleaming Hearts Company. Some of her music page. And this one's the vintage music, sheet music with rugs. She put it with like um, oriental type rugs or something. And it's just kind of neat because you just kind of get that little bit of a background of the color of the rugs or whatever. That was pretty good with these Christmas papers. I really missed on that. Used a piece of scrap paper or something else on the back. Probably one of the mini printer test pages. <laughs> yeah, that works. So I can put a little ink on these other sides. So you would probably need a, you know, like a black pen to write on these ones, but, or you could add another little piece of paper. Okay, so let's do this side. Definitely want to, I think, do more writing space on these back parts. So this is composition notebook, old vintage composition notebook. That one I actually probably don't have to do a whole lot to because it um, is already the plain, you know, back. I can ink it up and maybe put a little something on there. That's quite loud.
really quick. Sorry, I just want to make sure it's not my daughter. Okay. Alright. And what could we put at the bottom of that? This is a piece of that manila uh, drawing paper. And I could use like uh, pieces of my letters to Santa Digi or the Woodland Santa one because they do have some plain pages. But like I said, I'm trying to use up scraps. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. But that would look cool. Stuff like this, like uh, the blank part of book page is fun, even though like there's a number right there. I just I like stuff like that on these. Or the you know, backs of any tags or whatever. This looks kind of cool. And it saves that from going in the trash. I think from what you guys told me, you're liking the camera, the picture, and the sound better now. So that is excellent to hear because <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. I'm like, I, this doesn't work, punt, because I really don't know what else to do. And this is just like newer ledger paper and I think I got this at Walmart or something. It's, I think fairly easy to find these just regular ledgers. They're not antique or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over. And I will use that as a journaling card or a pocket so don't throw those away. And a lot of times if you see me take them off and leave them flat like that and just set them aside, it's because I use them for, um, like, collaging on or, you know, backing tags or whatever, all those kind of things. So I don't generally throw them away unless they're just so yucky goopy that I'm like, or they're going to, like, leave big lumps when it's folded in half, that kind of thing. So sometimes I will throw them away. But um, I usually try to reuse them for something. It doesn't always happen, but I do try. Oops, this is antique leather. the number and I like this number but I think I'm going to tear it over here and I'll use that for something else a lot of times I use those kind of things in digis because the old ledger is really cool for that
Yeah, I just thought maybe you guys would be hinge journaled out, so I was like I should do something else and finish that on my own. And then I'll show it to you guys when it's done. Because it is a design team project. And I may work on it again this week, I don't know, just depending on how much I get done. But I just thought we'd do something different today. Okay, so that goes like that. And those are the backs. So now we can um, decorate this. So let's use some of our Santas and things. Just thinking I have Old, old fashioned Santa. I also have newer looking ones. Oh, this one's. I don't remember where that one's from. It's almost too tall, but I could cut off a little more off the bottom. That's good too. <coughs> too many choices, right? He's just cool and he fits like right in there perfectly. So I'll use that one. Ink him. stick. I didn't get very good. Oops. Yeah. It does feel like it needs a little something behind him just to break it up a little bit. I'm going to drop those all over the floor if I'm not careful. Get the lid closed again. I don't want to use that number piece because I don't know that you'll see a whole lot of it. I just feel like it needs to be broken up a little. Yeah, I think that'll just cover that up entirely so there's not really a point in having that on there. But I do think I want this just to break it up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, this is pretty patinaed, but I'll ink it a little on the edges. Try not to break it. It's very fragile. And then I could see if I have a word or something to put with him. Have a good day. I 
guess I can just do Christmas. I just like these. They're just kind of fun. And I think I got this idea from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, just finding words and books and, you know, that fit whatever you're working on and just either tear them out or cut them out and put them on other paper. And then you can just tear them off anytime you want for this kind of thing. They just kind of look cool. Alright, so I don't know if I want to put... I think this can definitely be written on right there. Let's see if there's a little something we could put on that other side. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't know that it goes together, but I just like it. It's just adorable. So that's what I'm putting there. Because <laughs> he looks way old world Santa and she doesn't look quite as, quite as long ago, but that's okay. Still the same result, right? Makes the kids happy. She got made out like a bandit. All that. Christmas present. It just says present instead of presents, plural, but it's fine. It works. Lots of Christmas presents. <laughs> Think that very straight. Okay. All right. That is a place to write. We could put a little something down in the corner that looks decorative. Like some holly or something. It might be a bit big. Just the same one again. This one's a little bit smaller. Work. And these are Dreams Etc. And that's Santa. I don't know where I got him. That might be Tailor Made Journals Christmas. Um, the German scrap set two. So I think that's where I got that one. And the same with this little girl. I like that or like this. I think like this looks better. Okay. So that's that. And then we'll take this and we will cut our 
you know, like tag corner out of it. So that it ends up looking like tags instead of just, you know, rectangles. So then that can just be slipped right down into a pocket and you've got writing space. I'm going to ink the back of that. So I might have time to do that other one. Those other ones take a tiny bit longer, so if we don't get done, it's okay. And I probably, oops, take the lid off, probably will um, stitch around this and I may add like some fabric on the front one at the top just so when it's closed, you know, it looks like a tag with a little fabric there or something. But it's nice and flat and can go into a pocket. So those are super fun. So let's do this one and see what we come up with. Move these. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to even this up a little bit. It's, it doesn't really matter. You can cut it and make it like really even or, um, you know, just tear it how you want it. I just didn't want it how it was kind of at a weird angle there. And then I usually try to open them so they open like this and then, the, you know, that part opens up. Okay, so what do I want to use on this? one. Get some music. I could do this one a little lighter colors maybe. Some variety. So the smaller the book page that you use to make these, the smaller they will be, obviously. So think about that when you're, this one a little bit easier because you could have, but you need it, um, you know, the long way this way to get three tags. So yeah, it's still going to determine the size. So you might want to use your bigger uh, book pages to make these kind of things. might work out better. Okay. And then maybe we could do more of the snow look with this one. And these are that same uh, company. I can't remember what it's called. Digital Design Papers or something. But I will. I will try to link it. It's fairly new to me, so like, I'm just struggling with the name of it for some reason. But I will definitely link it so that you can go check it out for you, yourself. Because, like I said, he does have a lot of different colors and um, themes. You know, so. So just two more things to do with book pages. If you haven't seen this before, if you have seen these, you know, other places or whatever, it's just going to be a repeat. But if you're new to junk journals, then this might be a fun little and, you know, easy thing to make. It's not a lot of crazy folds or anything. Or it just might remind you, if you've been doing it for a while, that they're fun to make. Let's see. Inside, I might go ahead and do this is just book page, and it's a fairly new book. It's just those, um, you know, the parts that are blank. I like to use those for 
backing and whatever. They're nice to write on. And they take the ink nicely. These, um, this book page is actually one I, I tea dyed at some point because it's really lightly stained. And it's not an old one, so. And don't hold me responsible if it says something bad. <laughs> I didn't write the book. And I'm covering it up as fast as I can. And a lot of the books I use that are newer, you know, that aren't falling apart or whatever, are from the dollar store, so. They could say just about anything. Sometimes it's fun to just take like a little piece of, like this just has these numbers down here. <laughs> and I like stuff like that just randomly. And I do save all this crazy stuff like these. This is off of music paper. But it just adds another little element of interest is all it really is. It just kind of looks cool. All right, then we'll do a more decorative page across from that. Let's see. I don't think I can fit both of those ladies. Yeah, that wouldn't work. like candy canes. What? I could work like that and then I could add just a strip of candy canes. I'm just going to mess this up so I don't want to tear it any smaller. And this is out of my Woodland Santa. It's one of the wood pages. Or bark, whatever. I'll put it up at the top and put the candy canes at the bottom. Because this can definitely be written on. Seems like they're upside down no matter which way I turn them. <laughs> There's a fold a score line in this. And this is from that Hobby Lobby pad of paper. The Midnight Noel, I think it's called. So definitely a good scrap buster making these and uses up book pages, so it's a good one. Okay, and then that piece opens up to, I got that all over that. Then it sticks to my fingers, I hate that. Okay, so in here, we can do more of kind of the plain, you know, paper to write on, not necessarily plain, but just something that you can write on.
this is part of a tag from my, um, I gotta get it wiped, wipe that sticky stuff off my hands. Uh, spill and tea digi. That was one of the, the big tags. I must have used part of it for something. That's the great part about those digitals because you can just print them again, which is great. I'm going to ink this because I cannot see where one square starts and the other one ends. It's a little tricky. This book page is great to ink. It just, I don't know. Makes it so good. Okay. That's better. I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Could not tell what was what there. I'm going to actually tear off the side with the writing because I want to be able to have more writing here. printed out more of that, more blues. I guess I didn't. Nope, really didn't. A piece of lace would look good. Lace paper. That'll work, and then something else. It's fun to have some sort of print. I just have scraps coming out of my ears, essentially. Reminds me of like a quilt, this one. Maybe the one with the, this one might be a little better. At least it's got some blue in it. section right here I think will work. Okay. 
<laughs> I do find these every so often. Oh, They're kind of hard to find. And I have been sent one in Happy Mail, which was super duper nice. That's fine. Well, actually, I'm not because I don't have enough room. Thought I did. There we go. <laughs> Numbers all messed up. They're usually pretty clear, but sometimes they end up faded out. It's just tears. So easy. My favorite pages are the ones with the writing on them. They're just so cool to see handwriting. People's handwriting was just amazing. Mine is atrocious, which I think a lot of us say about our handwriting. See, like, look at that. This is actually on a digi. I'm not sure which this might be spilling tea. It's hard to tell when you just have that one little piece. And I know you can't really write on that, but I mean, come on, it's just cool looking. <laughs> How can you resist? Okay, and then after we get this one on, we'll decorate the front and then we'll be done. I'll do the back, that last one, or a couple on my own. I'm sure it gets a little like paint drying and I think you guys got it. You just cover all the little rectangles <laughs> with whatever you want. <sighs> and then they can just be tucked into a pocket. And I've still got that too long. So see, we'd still have, oh, we just have that one. But we'll decorate the front and then I'll do that last one because it'll probably just be plain sort of stuff. Kind of want an angel on there, but these ones are too way too big. And those are from um, Lorna Taylor Made Journals. Oh, she's cute. And that's this one I just found online. This is Dreams Etc. And she's always cute on anything. I'm going to use them. <laughs> They're funny. All dressed up in their warm their muffs and all. That's from Lorna at Taylor Made Journals. It's not really the right color though. That one's really cool though. I love that, but the color is just not quite right. I think I'll stick with them. I wanted a little something else, but I can't find. I 
Christmas Hello. Merry Christmas. It's now looks a little smaller. That might be a little easier to use. Okay, we'll figure out something with that. I could do season's greetings too. Let's see what I like best. Okay, so let's get some ink on the girls here. These are just printed on um, parchment paper. And somebody was asking me about the parchment paper. It's Southworth um, parchment paper. And I order it off of Amazon or you can get it at uh, Walmart. And it just comes in a box like this. And it's called Southworth. And this one's 500 sheets is what I order. But you can get less at Costco. And I order the ivory is what I get and I need to put it in my um, my Amazon list and I just keep forgetting I think I'm gonna do season's greetings because it's a little bit bigger I see it a little bit better but yeah it's not um, a special kind or anything it's just just that and it works great it really adds a nice texture to your journals because it just feels a bit different than the, um, you know, just copy paper. I think I might put that one there and snip it. here. They don't look very happy, but I know a lot of older pictures, they didn't smile. <laughs> but it's funny. season's greetings. Got little pieces of snowflakes stuck to my fingers. Okay, so there's that one. So I will show you real quick what we got done. That's my new one. So there's those. And so this one is like the tri-tag thing. And then this one opens like this. And then up like that. And then you have also the back, which I'll put something on here, but you guys get the idea. So those are fun to just slip in pockets and they're nice and flat. So you can see they're super flat. So it um, doesn't add a ton of bulk, but it does, that adds quite a bit of writing space. So just another fun little idea that I thought I would use or, you know, do again because I haven't done them in a while. So I will chat at you guys again soon. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye now.